All right, so before I begin this video, I just want to know one thing, one thing. What is something that you do that makes you feel very, very confident? And this answer can range however it needs to range. What is something that you do that makes you feel immensely confident, like super confident? Okay, and let, you, let, let us know in the comment section down below. I'm back okay I am back this is another girl talk this is a pretty girl talk okay so get your wine out if you haven't been here then you should know I'm gonna come to you real I'm gonna come to you honest with my experience my life experience and I'm saying these things to help y'all cuz I love y'all so yeah I just want to say that real quick before we get this video it's Lex Marie and I'm back here with another pretty girl talk. Today we are going to talk about how to build confidence. Like, I feel like I talk about this topic a lot, but listen, it's always gonna be something we struggle with as people. So I feel like it doesn't hurt to just talk about it a little bit more, especially to you ladies. I know a lot of my audience is around my age. So like between 18 and 30, like that whole age group. And yes, we're going through so much during this time. We're trying to find ourselves, figure ourselves out. And with everything that we're seeing in social media, we're thinking we're supposed to be here. We're supposed to be having the Coke shaped body, we're supposed to be making you know a mill all this stuff and I know it can mess with us so I just wanted to give you guys some tips in terms of like how to build your confidence and your self-esteem and just be a better bitch so before I get into this video make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on the notification bell down below same thing on my Instagram follow me on Instagram turn on the notification bell girl okay cuz now that I'm graduating with my BSN RN <laughs> Okay. Now that I'm graduating, the content that will be arriving will be will be daily. <laughs> okay, no breaks, no no pause, no breaks. So make sure you do not miss anything on my Instagram, anything on my Twitter, anything on my TikTok, and you also follow me on Depop so you can get wigs that I customize myself for the low. So yeah, make sure you do all that stuff. I'm just trying to plug y'all in. So let's get into these tips. Okay, so I don't like to waste any time. The first way to start building your confidence is to stop over analyzing yourself. And we have all done this, okay? We have all done this. I still tend to do this sometimes. When I'm taking a picture of myself, I take the selfie, I'm like, oh, my nose looks funny. Oh, my nose looks crooked. Oh, my lips. Oh, my eyes. Always my eyelash on. Oh, my eyebrows, they're like fading away. I need to fix this. Oh, my hair, is it lifting? Blah, blah, blah. I will go in on myself and the reason I kind of do that and the reason I notice a lot of other people do that is because I go in on other people. I'm looking at the little details. I'm looking at the flaws. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at that. And to be honest with you, that's not healthy. Like, I'm trying my best <laughs> to not be a hater sometimes. Sometimes I could be a little bit of a hater and be like, okay, mm, you know, your lace is lifting. Like, especially if someone's coming for me. Girl, your lace is lifting. Like, I don't know who you're talking to. I don't know who you're breathing on. But don't talk to me like that. So I'm thinking people are doing it to me. So I'm doing it to myself. I overanalyze everything that I'm doing. If I walk into a room and I look around, I'm like, oh my God, everyone's looking at me. Oh my gosh, everyone looks at me. Like that's how I used to be and that's how I am sometimes. But that, again, overanalyzing a situation. You have to stop doing that. So for this, like, it's not that deep. Like you have to keep telling yourself it's not that deep. Ain't nobody worry about you. And it sounds harsh when you hear it for the first time. Like I remember I used to tell my friend, like, you know nobody's worried about you, right? Like, not not in a mean way, but like nobody is really sitting down here analyzing your flaws. And if they are, they have flaws themselves. They they are doing that because they they have their own flaws. And that's like kind of the same reason why I was doing it. Like I realized it's because I wasn't comfortable with myself. It wasn't I wasn't happy with myself that I was over analyzing other people. So definitely just number one, stop over analyzing yourself in a situation. You know, just take it for what it is. It's really not that deep. Like, <laughs> that's my favorite thing to say. It's really not that deep. So I would say for number one, just stop doing that. <sighs> this is going to ruffle some feathers. But number two is don't look to other people for validation. 
okay this is scary this right here when i see someone doing this i'm fearful for them because the minute that person knows that you're looking to them to get confidence in yourself they will snatch that confidence away from you they will give it to you in bits and pieces they will make sure that you are dependent on them to give them confidence whether that is a singular person a parental figure like a mom or a dad it could be a sister or a brother it could be your best friend that you literally make like the end all be all for why you're confident it could even be an app it could be TikTok. it could be social media it could be an entity it could be society it could literally be anything where you seek validation from and to be real with y'all like i remember like when I was younger and I didn't get a certain amount of likes on a picture, I was like, dang, maybe the picture is, maybe it's ugly. Maybe no one finds me attractive. Maybe, you know, I'm not, I'm not that girl. <laughs> like I would say dumb stuff like that. Like I'm not that girl. And now I realize, you know, the algorithm, <laughs> it's a little janky cause I know I'm cute. I know I'm cute. And people on Instagram know I'm cute. They just not seeing my pictures, you know, or the picture might just, you know, not, might not be on everyone's explore page. So I've gotten to a point where it's like, I'm not really blaming myself or seeking um, validation from Instagram necessarily. Like it's just Instagram, like it's not that deep. The picture's cute. You know, if it gets one like or a thousand likes, I'm still that girl. Like I had to, it took work, okay? Because I used to buy likes to find validation. Like I'm gonna be real with y'all. I used to freaking send people my pictures. And when I'm telling you I stopped doing that, I used to send my friends my Instagram posts for them to like and comment. And the fact that I even have to send my Instagram posts for you to like and comment says a lot about the friendship, which is a whole nother conversation. But I used to send them my post and like tell them, oh, like go like my picture, go like my picture. Cause in my mind I felt like, oh, like that means I'm valid. Like that means I'm cute. And no, that's not what it means. It means that I was feeding for a like in a comment. So definitely like just stop seeking validation from other people and finding your confidence from other people's words and affirmations. Every now and then I completely understand it does feel good to hear from someone you like, oh yeah, you know, I look nice, you look nice, da 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 da. But don't let that be the sole source of where you get your confidence from. Like you should know waking up, looking in the mirror, mm, like, you know, this girl look good in the mirror. Like, oof, she looks so good when she wake up. Like, you need to be talking to yourself like that. You should not have to wait for someone to say that to you because the wait will be very long and people do take advantage of that. So, number two, just stop seeking validation from other people, other entities, other anything because you're bad. You're a bad bitch. If anything, you can, you can hear from me. You're cute. <laughs> you're cute. And this goes into number three, which is my favorite tip to give people. And let me take a sip. I know this is controversial, but I've always been that person that likes cockiness. Not like, oh, I'm better than everyone, but like I'm better than what I used to be. Like, you know, that type of energy like I'm really up there now like I'm really doing top dog stuff I love confidence I love cockiness confidence I like I like a little bit of arrogance too I like I just like that I don't know like when I see my friends starting to really feel themselves starting to get into themselves love themselves become more selfish you know start caring about themselves more and you know getting validation from themselves I love it so my third one is to just hype your ass up like hype yourself up and like this doesn't have to be anything you're doing in public like it's weird and i was talking to my friend about this we were like we were just talking about this one situation where this girl would hype herself up like in a way that kind of put down her friends but the way i've always been is like i'm like dang we look good like dang we look good or, oh no nah, i look fire like that's crazy like it's nothing where I'm, oh yeah, I'm the baddest bitch in this group. Da, da, da. I'm not going to say anything like that. That's, please. But if I take some pictures, like go out, take some pictures, I'll look at my pictures. I'm like, yep, I go through each one. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're, oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. Look at that hair. Look at this. Look at your face. Lex, da, da, da. And most of the time I really hype myself in private because when I go in public, I'm like, I have to, you know, I have to walk the walk and talk the talk. So definitely like don't be afraid to hype yourself up i know society makes it like taboo to like pat yourself on the back no pat yourself on the back if you did well on an exam and you're just realizing you know i'm not 
like I'm smart, like I'm dumb smart. Hype yourself up. Don't try to be all humble and like, yeah, you know, like, you know, I'm lucky. Yeah, like, no, I worked for this and look at me. Mm -hmm. A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. Or, you know, you see yourself in the mirror, you see you look good. Say to yourself you look good. Say to yourself you look good. And if you don't like to, I guess, say it on the fly, you can always just put uh, post-its like affirmations around your rooms. Like I have that on my mirror so when I wake up and I brush my teeth, I read them. I'm like, okay, like I will get anything I want today. I'll make sure, you know, I'm the flyest girl regardless of what people say, da da da, and wash my face and stuff. So definitely try to do stuff like that. Affirm yourself, love yourself, hype yourself up. Let yourself know that I'm that girl. Like, I'm that girl. You have to keep saying it over and over even if you don't believe it and I know sometimes like we say things to ourselves and we really don't believe that that's true like oh yeah like I'm gorgeous the way I am blah 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 like you know I don't have to change anything about me sometimes we're like yeah nah but I need to drop this 10 pounds you know I need to I need to you know I need to gain some weight I need to you know get this acne gone like I understand that but I learned that you kind of just have to embrace yourself in all of your stages because if you don't embrace yourself and don't find yourself beautiful in all of your stages, it's, it's, you don't have that self love, you know what I mean? So definitely just learn to love yourself in all of your stages, hype yourself up all of your stages. Don't be like, oh, I was so ugly during this stage and now I'm beautiful. No, you were beautiful in all of it. It's just, you know, <laughs> now the beautiful is just looking a little extra shiny. Like you looking just extra good, but you always look good, you know? So yeah, hype yourself up, okay? Okay, okay. Well, the fourth way to build confidence is to do things that make you happy. Do things that make you happy. Um, <laughs> okay, let's, let's get into some tea. Let's get into some tea. I, I wanna say since I've been 15 years old, have been always um, criticized for doing the most okay and doing the most as in I wear this to class I would wear something like this to class I would look like this going to class I used to before before 2020 this was how I was coming to class did not care did not care I would look you know I wear a, a dress you know on a nice sunny day we're just going out for lunch why you have to wear a dress? Why you gotta do all that? Because it makes me feel good. Especially the fact that I will put on makeup with sweats. Like if I'm just doing like a sweatsuit, like a jumpsuit look, I will beat my face, curl my hair because I know that face card, it cannot decline. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that girl. I'm the one that's gonna get up, do her makeup, do my routine, make sure I have perfume on, and just go to the grocery store. Is that you know not the normal yeah but am I trying to be normal am I trying to fit in no I'm trying to be myself so definitely just do stuff that makes you happy if you know beating your face every day makes you happy beat your face as long as you wash it off okay because we don't need no we don't need no crazy looking skin under there you know if you want to wear different wigs every single day girl I wear different wigs every single couple hours okay I have a different look every other day um, if you want to, I don't know, go to brunch every weekend, or you want to do something that you love doing, like painting or whatever, and not everyone wants to do it. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel confident. Do what makes you feel beautiful. If you like to work out, work out. If you like to dance, dance. Do whatever puts you in that energy and that spirit where you feel free and you feel confident in yourself. Because if you're putting yourself in situations that make you, you know, not feel as confident, you know, that's defeating the purpose. So <laughs> try to find things that make you happy. Do things that you love to do. If you want to get your nails done every two weeks because that's what you like to do and nails, you know, having pretty nails and pretty feet make you confident, do it, sis. Do it. Do it. I'm. This is the sign. Do it. do it. And last but not least, this one is probably going to be ignored the most, but it's probably the most beneficial, is to just face your fears. Okay, if you really want to work on your confidence, 
face your fears. One thing that I have been doing recently, and you know, it is for so many reasons I can't even describe. Start going places alone that you want to go to. You know, start doing things that you love by yourself. And let me tell you why. I used to wait for my friends to have the money, the time, and the interest to do what I wanted to do. And it would never happen. All the things that I wanted to do throughout my college career, a lot of the stuff did not happen because the money, the time, and the interest did not align. That rhymed. <laughs> But no, seriously. And I realized that as I'm getting older, life is too short. I've been losing people left and right. You just never know where life is gonna take you. So you're gonna have to learn how to be comfortable and love the energy that you have by yourself. You have to learn to love you. This is, this is some real work. So you can go out here and do what you love by yourself. Now, don't think, oh, well, I do stuff by myself. Girl, it's, I'm not talking about going to the beauty supply. I'm not talking about going to the grocery store, buying clothes. That's, come on. Like, I shop by myself all the time, please. I'm talking about going to dinner out by yourself at a high-end restaurant, regular restaurant, going to a bar by yourself. By yourself. Booking a trip, staying in a hotel by yourself. Going zip planning by yourself. Go to the movies by yourself. Do activities by yourself. And when I'm telling you no one will pay attention, that's what I was talking about in the beginning, stop overanalyzing. No one pays attention. No one pays attention. If anything, if you're truly like to a point where your confidence is just like, you can't even ignore it. People are gonna envy that. People are gonna envy that you can walk into a room by yourself, grab yourself a drink, sit down, you know, sit all cute and mind your business. Read a book, drink some wine, sit over here and chill. A lot of people can't do that. Some people need friends. Some people need friends to do everything with. They need a friend to go to the bathroom with. They need a friend to go get a drink with. They need a friend to, you know, go traveling with. They need a friend to, you know, do so God, God, everything, everything. And I'm not saying it's wrong to have friends. Like, please, like, please, girl, have, have friends. But don't feel like you need to rely on another person's energy because you're not comfortable being by yourself with your own energy. You need to get comfortable with you and your thoughts and your space and build your confidence through there. I think it's great to do things by yourself because that's really where your confidence is tested. When there's no, you know, person to lean on or talk to or turn around and, you know, try to uh, correct an awkward situation, it's just you. It takes you building a lot of skills. So definitely the last thing um, I wanted to say was just face your fears. Don't worry about being embarrassed. Like, girl, the amount of times I think where did I go by myself? I went to the museum by myself and I went to the museum. This was a couple months ago. I got some drinks after at a bar. <laughs> at a bar and I sat down there and I was like, oh my God, everyone's looking at me, everyone's looking at me. But then when I was looking at everyone else, nobody was looking at me except the, you know, one dude, but <laughs> that's a different story. Nobody was looking at me. So I realized, I was like, wow, let me stop centering myself in other people's lives and just center myself in my own life. And I had I had so much fun. And I went home and I was like, wow, like I'm proud that I was able to complete that. I didn't back out, nothing. So definitely try all of these tips. I think this is, um, I think honestly, y'all can do this at any age. Um, this is directly towards my, you know, my young ladies, my developing women, my young women. But I mean, if you're older women too, shoot, go, go get you a drink by yourself, girl. Please. Yeah, so let me know how you guys like this video in the comment section down below. Make sure you leave a like and that you turn on the notification bell. Um, also, follow me on all of my social media platforms. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys took something valuable out of this. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Bye.